Good morning, YouTube. Today, I want to talk real quick about the recall that's affecting Ferrari 458s and 488s. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and this is my garage, and this is my Ferrari 458, which, as far as I know right now, is not actually one of the cars that's affected by the recall, but we'll go into that in just a second. But real quick, if you want to support our channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down there. We do appreciate it when you guys do it. And please go visit normalguysupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services for your car. Use the code NGS10, it'll hook you up with 10% off almost everything we sell. In fact, if there's something that you want that we don't have on the site, or if you get a quote that's better than our website, email us sales at normalguysupercar.com and we will do our best to not only beat the quote, but hook you up. All right, guys, let's talk about this recall. So I have some of the details about the recall on my phone right here. So interesting thing is a bunch of people started getting emails and notifications from Ferrari saying, hey, your car is affected by this recall, blah, blah, blah. I have not received any information, so I don't know if my car is or is not affected by it. Uh, according to this, it said that it affects the 2010 to 2015 458 Italia, 14 to 15 Speciale, 15 Speciale Aperta, 12 to 15 458 Spider, the 16 to 19 488 GTB, the 16 to 19 488 Spider for a total of 9,985 cars. So that's why I don't think I am affected because Fry made like over 20,000 458s and they've made well over 20,000 488s. So we're talking a total of over 40,000 cars if it was just a blanket recall affecting all of them. So I don't know exactly what it is that makes some cars affected by it and some cars not. Here's what's kind of funny about it is that Ferrari says they don't actually have a fix for the problem. So what is the problem? Well, it seems to be something goes wrong with the brake system that causes brake fluid to leak out. Okay, that's not a good thing. And it says basically if enough fluid leaks out, it could cause where you have complete brake failure. So basically if it gets air in the lines and stuff, you're, you're hoped. So we're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna show you how to check the brake fluid on the 458. I don't have access to a 488, but I believe it's in the exact same location. So it'd be the exact same thing. So let me show you how to do that. In fact, the instructions say, check your brake fluid to make sure that it's okay. If you get a brake light on the dashboard, please do not drive any further. In fact, Ferrari says that if the brake fluid gets too low, it will actually say something about brake fluid being low, drive it slowly or stop or whatever. If that happens to you, just stop. Don't risk your car. Don't be dumb. Don't die. Those are all good things, right? The actual wording should say something like brake fluid level low, go to dealer slowly. Yeah. I mean, I would just stop. Like if that happens, just don't drive, just stop. <laughs> Save yourself. Okay. And apparently that happens if the brake fluid level gets below 48%, which I mean, I wouldn't want to drive the car with less than half the brake fluid available. So anyway, let's take a look real quick how to check the brake fluid in this car. And I guess for now, that's the best thing you can do because there is no known fix. First thing we have to do is obviously pop the trunk. So we'll just pop the trunk right there. All right, we got access to the trunk. And right there is your brake fluid reservoir. There is a little cap. It's actually sometimes a little difficult to pry it off. You may have to use a screwdriver and put it in that little notch. You can see my tab broke off. So well, mine comes off really, really easily. There is my brake fluid reservoir. So all we're gonna do is unscrew it and look in there and voila, there is a lot of brake fluid. I think I'm pretty much okay. So it's kind of hard to see what the actual level is. If I look from the side, you can see it's pretty darn close to the top. Well, what I can tell is that my brake fluid's gross. I need to change it. So I guess we'll be doing that pretty soon, but I have enough brake fluid. So I feel pretty safe driving on the street in its current brake fluid condition. I don't think I would drive it on the track just because it's too old, but I'm safe to drive it on the street. All right, we just checked my brake fluid. So again, just be safe. If you see the light come up on the dash, don't drive it any further. Check your brake fluid. It's probably an abundance of caution to do that. I mean, most of these cars are somewhere between 10 plus years old. I mean, this car is 11 years old, almost 12 years old. You should be checking your brake fluid pretty much regularly anyway. It's a good idea to do that. It's kind of one of the most important things that cars can do is stop. As soon as we know what Ferrari's fix is, we'll obviously update you with that. But for now, I mean, just be safe and careful and well, try not to crash. That's all we got. So guys, if you could do us a favor, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We do appreciate that tremendously. Maybe drop a comment below and go visit normalcar.com. We really do appreciate when you guys support us by buying your parts and services through us. 
So thank you so much to all of you that have done that in the past and for those of you that will do it in the future. We're going to have a lot more car stuff coming your way, so you're going to want to stay tuned. It's going to be sweet.